play, but a non-conference tilt here tonight. As Lambers and Atkinson get things started in Atlanta, and the Bulldogs control the opening tip. And Yale works it quickly full court. Monroe gets Yale on the board with that jumper out of the corner. And Georgia Tech using a lot of clock. Lammers with four on the shot clock. Makes good. And Yale seven wins. The Bulldogs have scored 76 points or more in each of those games. Gay goes to the left hand for a nice drive and a finish. Tech leads it eight to three. Here's Atkinson against Lammers. Three ball from Eric Monroe. It's his second already. Player of the week in the Ivy. He's had a nice freshman campaign. Gay over Reynolds. Trey Phils here. Get his dad played years ago for the Charlotte Hornets in the NBA, and he takes it to the rack in tight quarters. Here's Oney with a chance to drive the lane. Lammers blocks it off the glass. Okoge on the counterattack. And Gay with the emphatic follow. 13-27 to go, first half here in Atlanta. Georgia Tech leads Yale by pair. Georgia Tech scoring. It's a 12-8 lead for the Yellow Jackets. Oney with his first bucket of the night. The Hurricanes. Passner has only played six players in his first two ACC games. Uh, Moses Wright. Squeaked in two minutes, and Evan Cole played two minutes at Notre Dame. Recruiting profiles. Shot clock down to five once again for Georgia Tech as Gay goes to work on Reynolds with a nice drop step and a finish. First two months of the season, so they're still yet to find their continuity, their identity, who they are this season. Alvarado knocks in a three. Off the good ball movement, an open look for Azar Slane. He's a freshman out of Brockton, Massachusetts. Appreciative crowd here in Atlanta for what he's done so far. Meanwhile, there is. He was out there. He was effective. When he gets his feet set from beyond the arc. Last summer and impressing the folks out there. And he was playing in fast company. A Kogi, meanwhile, hits a three. Force it up. Swain now in the fourth court. Out to One, feeling it and delivering. He seconds on the shot clock as Yale puts it in play following the foul moments ago. Three ball here from Thomas Ryan. It's his first of the season. Alvarado trying to use the double screen. They roll it down low to Gay. A nice alley oop finish. Way to beat the shot clock. Deck lead. Atkinson going back to work on Lammers, turned away by the veteran. Oney outside, right back on track after returning, even with the foul trouble. Shot clock is down to seven. Oney's got to do something fast. He's just the guy to try and make something happen, finding Atkinson inside for the and one bucket. They shift quickly to meet Okogi. Lammers feeding Gay, who's had the hot hand. Gay went strong. Lammers able to follow it up and in. Yale's largest lead has been three. It's a chance for the Yellow Jackets to retake the lead. Alvarado missing. Lammers again with a left-handed finish. Oakland now with it, trying to make something happen against the top of that zone. Phils has it blocked by a Kogi. It'll be a shot clock violation. Gay off the feed from Alvarado. A beautiful finish by Okogi, putting it up and in off the offensive board. Gay was very good in the first half. He draws a double team here in the opening possession of the second half. Lambers against the double team, finds Alvarado open. He's the third Yellow Jacket into double figures. He's got 10 now. Here's Oni. Had it blocked from the blind side by Okogi. A chance for. Reynolds, and he hits his first jumper of the night. Gay slipping down low. Didn't have an angle from underneath, but Okogi with the recovery. Alvarado with a three. Alvarado's opened up the second half with a couple of threes. Kojic has four threes in the game now, four out of seven. Hook. Five points here in the half already. 
Gay got the deflection, posting up on Reynolds, going reverse. He's got 12 points as his great night continues. Alvarado feeling it. He's on fire here in the second half with his third three already. She wasn't there. Passer threw a couple haymakers into the into the clouds. Oh, oh big he, time. Meanwhile, he's not bothered by foul trouble. He just threw it down big time. Big time finish. That might be the kind of lift that Yale needed. Alvarado trying to energize the Yellow Jackets back the other way. Georgia Tech has turned a four-point lead at the half into an 11-point lead now. And a live ball turnover with Alvarado. Nice drop pass, Akogi the flunk. Alston to Akogi. Nice pass with Akogi moving without the ball and getting the feed. Yale is no answer for right now. Good defense on Gay right there to knock the ball loose. Lammers trying to get to the side of the lane. That's a nice move for him. Percent right now. Alvarado. He comes up looking for the contact, but there was no call. Monroe pulls and buries the three. Yale has made eight threes in this game, but they trail 60 to 47. Lammers got to use Gay as a decoy right there. Take that. Four Georgia Tech starters now in double figures. Razar Slane gets back in the act. I'm at Memphis, and now here in Atlanta, he is at 195 coming into the night. Josh Akogi, three-point shooting. He's got 20 in this game. Nice wraparound, finding Reynolds. He's got seven now. They're all in the second half. They're very good at playing as a complete unit together. Nice step through by Alvarado to find his way all the way inside. All Jackets, it's wall-to-wall -wall ACC basketball after tonight. Alvarado with the shot clock running down. Finds the open man, and Jackson knocks it down. Their first Ivy League opener against Brown on January 12th. Jackson with his first basket of the night. Blake Reynolds at the other end. James Jones has challenged his team with the Ivy League future in mind. A turnover. Trey Phils able to get through to the rack. He's got five points in this game. Down to 32 seconds to go in the game. Only unselfish, found Atkinson and one. Final shot of the night. Looks like it'll belong to Trey Phils, and that is the case as Georgia Tech comes away with a 74-60 victory over Yale.